This video is going to explain why all the schools and universities and colleges are going to close by mid-March 2020. Coronavirus news as South Korea effectively declaring a national emergency as the nation's coronavirus cases continue to rocket ever higher, now totaling nearly 3,000 infected and resulting in 17 deaths. This despite deploying immense resources towards containment. Meanwhile, the basket case north of the border, with far greater cross border travel with China, apparently has zero cases whilst reports continue of mass cremations taking place. Therefore, given the reliability of South Korea's monitoring and systems, then the outbreak in this nation is likely more accurately reflects what to expect in terms of outbreaks in the UK and the rest of the West. Then China's statistics that everyone now agrees have grossly underreported the true number of infections and deaths by several magnitudes. In fact, China's statistics are modelled on an outbreak starting mid-January rather than early December. And thus my recent in-depth analysis concluded that Chinese reported cases are likely underreported by at least times 7 and deaths by times 2. So reliable South Korean data warns of literally exponential spread of the virus in the early days of outbreaks where R0 rather than being 2.6 has been the consensus view. Instead, South Korean data calculates R0 at 4.6. Literally explosive growth in the number of infections before a nation's healthcare system is able to respond. This explosive early growth is likely as a consequence that those infected can be asymptomatic for between 3 and 7 days and a few super spreaders for as many as 14 days who unbeknown are literally infecting dozens of people per day who themselves go on to infect many others. South Korea's data shows an initial explosive growth starting on the 19th of February. So 20 new cases, i.e. a new outbreak, were testing positive. Next day, the number more than doubled to 53 as the authorities desperately attempted to track down contacts. Doubling again on the 21st to 100 and again on the 22nd and only really slowing by day 5 as huge deployment of resources including shutting down a whole city succeeded in halting the doubling of numbers every 24 hours. But by then it tends to become too late to halt ever expanding numbers of infected as the 27th and 28th of February data illustrates. The South Korea is the model for the expected pattern of spread. Explosive growth that only slows when extreme actions are taken to shut down the movement of people within infected areas. So folks, don't be lulled into any false sense of complacency because the initial outbreaks are explosive. The number of infected can literally go from 0 to 1000 in less than 5 days. And that is with an ex effective response to outbreaks to contain the rate of expansion of infected numbers. Another example of which we are already witnessing take place is in Italy, which is experiencing a similar pattern of explosive growth soon following the detection of coronavirus in a few small towns in northern Italy. If developed nations such as Italy and South Korea can barely manage to control outbreaks, Imagine what is likely to take place in nations without robust healthcare and emergency response systems and or having political systems unable to respond to outbreaks in a timely manner. Case point being Iran. Iran both lacks the health infrastructure and systems to respond to coronavirus outbreaks. Hence the disaster we are witnessing unfold 
very likely several thousand are now infected many hundreds have died all whilst the totalitarian state reports just 245 infected and 26 deaths which if accurate would imply a case fatality rate of 10 percent and Iran is far from being considered the worst able to respond to the virus to that we turn to Africa that likely already has uncontrolled outbreaks underway that will only make the light of day when the body bags start piling up in the hundreds coronavirus pandemic outside China update whilst China's infection numbers cannot be trusted meanwhile the developed net world's numbers should prove more accurate at least in the early stages of the pandemic though we still have two gaping holes on the world map i.e. Africa and Central and South America to imagine that there's just one infection in Egypt and one in Brazil is delusional given the comings and goings of upwards of 1 million Chinese workers across those continents instead the infected number in Africa and South America already likely runs into the at least the several hundreds if not thousands that as of yet remain unrecorded so expect sharp spike in numbers at some point when the degree of infection is acknowledged and so despite lack of recording of african and the americas numbers the number of infections is literally going parabolic soaring by over 1000 overnight to 5359 to well above my trend forecast that totals 129,250 infections by the end of March coronavirus including China update so here's my forecast for the total number of infections and deaths by the 28th of February verse reported and estimated and I'll be doing an update forecast for March and April in the next few days and finally UK coronavirus trend forecast day 32 update the total number of infections recorded in the UK has started to increase on a daily basis and now includes the first case of a person being infected who cannot be linked to any one of the growing outbreak hotspots across the world i.e. community transmission so the fact that the UK only has 20 cases does not alter the fact that the UK is still in the calm before the coronavirus storm stage as my forecast of 14th February concluded in the infected to trend to 5,000 by the end of March that would result in about 90 deaths. Analysis of what is happening in South Korea illustrates that outbreaks tend to be explosive soon jumping from 1 to 1,000 in a matter of days which is likely the pattern to expect in the UK and elsewhere that I'm sure will prompt emergency even panic responses such as cancellation of virtually all public events schools universities and colleges being closed and infected hotspots being quarantined all likely to start taking place by mid-March as I first warned to expect to happen over two weeks ago where Britain's schools could remain closed until September that's six months the bottom line is that most Western nations are still in the calm before the coronavirus storm stage where outbreaks could spread nearer to R5 than the oft mentioned R2.6 at least for the first few days of an outbreak which means the UK having just 20 managed cases is nothing to get complacent about for there will be outbreaks in the UK that will be just as bad as in South Korea and closer still is Italy it is only a matter of time that should not be wasted but rather utilized to prepare for especially given the fact that the NHS has only spare capacity for 400 critically ill patients that could number 1000 by the end of March alone let alone being able to cope with that which will follow in April and May 59p that's cheap and get more how many? how many 59 this will stop the virus I vitamin C 
big one there. Let's get the big one over there. Come on, Liza. What else? Tangerines, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm not only 59p. That is cheap, though. I can catch Less than half price. I can catch 20. What else should we get? Stop the virus. Lemons. Oh, look, that one's got. That one's infected with something. Get. What should we get? More oranges. Even more oranges. Go on then. Put it in. That's it. Put it in. Put it in the trolley then. Plenty of oranges. I don't think we're going to be able to eat all that. Potassium in bananas. One left. Nuts are good to stop to get a virus. Yeah, Look nuts. Look at five nuts. Whoa! Nutrition in nuts, fatty acids. Whee! Two for one fifty. That's cheap. Um, there's not much in them. What's in it? How many? Fifty-five grams. That's nothing. Put them back. Fifty-five grams. That's one fifty for hundred and ten grams. It's not cheap. Even though they're half price, they're not cheap. But they'll at least they'll help stop getting the. Coronavirus. Which nuts do you want? Liza? Which nuts do you want? To stop getting the virus. Yeah. Ooh, oh, mixed nuts. These might be cheap, there's a lot of volume in them. Sweets? Yeah. I don't think they'll help you. Pick and mix, anti coronavirus pick and mix. Oh, leave them, get some sweets from here. It's cheaper. There'll be buyers on the cash machine. Yes, if you're going to use cash machine, then remember to wash your hands afterwards. So you don't get infected off the Sorry. keypad. I know your card is Cash, now. right, quiet. <laughs> Cash withdrawal. And now, other 200. Oh, I'm infected. Ah. Yeah. This is correct. Like a seat. I got the virus on my hand. I'm gonna have to wash my hand. Don't touch your mouth. Don't touch people's faces or mouths or nose. No, Otherwise, you'll get infected. Uh -huh. no, no, you so where's my money then? Oh yeah, the money's gonna be infected as well. You're gonna have to wash your money. So all this money's gonna have virus on it. Yeah. Now you're infected. You're all infected now. The money's got coronavirus on it. No, I'm not touching that money. I'm not touching that money. It's got coronavirus all over it. What are you doing? You're infected. You have to wash the money first. You have to wash it before you can use it, you stupid. To wash it. Go 
good hand hygiene to correct there in the coronavirus. Remember to wash the money before you use it and wash your hand and don't touch your face. Yes, yes, yes. She's, she's pretty again.